Good evening and welcome. Thank you for taking some time this evening to learn a little bit more about our school. My name is Lynette Anderson and it is a privilege to be serving my third year as principal of Ecole Monsignor William Irwin School. The purpose of this evening is to share information about our kindergarten programs as well as provide a snapshot of who we are as a school community. Hello, my name is Amber Nicholson and I'm the Assistant Principal at MWI. It is great to have you join us tonight. Please join us in our opening prayer in our Treaty 6 land acknowledgement from students here at MWI. We acknowledge that we are in Treaty 6 territory, a traditional meeting grounds, gathering place and traveling route to the Cree, Salto, Black, Blackfoot, Métis, Dene, and Nakoto Sioux. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis and Inuit, whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Edmonton Catholic Schools is dedicated to restoring and honoring the truth and reconciliation calls to action. We strongly believe that the truth must be acknowledged to move forward to reconciliation. Together, we call upon all our collective communities to build a stronger understanding of all peoples who dwell on this land. Just a few items to go over for you to know for our program tonight. First, tonight's session will be recorded, so if you miss something, you can always check back on the recording. It will be posted to our YouTube channel, so you can find it there. If your screen happens to go black or there is a delay in what you're seeing, um, or if you become disconnected from the event, you can always leave and rejoin um, or just check the recording afterwards. Um, you will be receiving a follow-up email uh, from our school, a follow-up contact, as we'd like to send a little thank you to all of those who attend and register at MWI. If you have any questions, please add them to our Q&A feed. You will see this on the right hand side of your screen marked Q&A. We do have a question period at the end of the program, but you can pop your questions in there at any time. If we do not answer them throughout, we will definitely cover them at the end. Or if it's something that requires more attention, we will contact you directly and respond. We encourage you to rename yourself in the Q&A as well so that we're able to follow up with any questions you might have and know who's asking them. Uh, captions are also available for tonight in multiple different languages. You can access them below by clicking on the gear icon and selecting the language that you prefer. And of course, don't forget to visit our website for more information about our school, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and to get an inside look at the school and hear from many of our staff members about the exciting things going on at MWI. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook to see our community in action. Our program for tonight is a no, here is an overview that you can see what we'll be covering this evening. Um, I we would like to start right after this with our uh, trustee Churchansky, who's going to say it, share a few words about our school community. So I'd like to welcome Trustee Churchansky to our meeting. Thank you very much, parents and prospective students. Welcome tonight. My name is Lisa Churchansky, and I'm your trustee in Ward 76. And it's my deep pleasure to welcome you on behalf of our Board of Trustees to the virtual open house for this extraordinary school, Monsignor William Irwin. At Edmonton Catholic, it's all about the students, their education, their formation, well-being, their development academically, physically, socially, emotionally, and of course, spiritually. 
Our senior administration, gifted educators, and team members strive to provide students with a rich, affirming, inspiring, and authentically Catholic learning experience. It's one of the reasons why Edmonton Catholic School Division ranks as one of the best divisions in the province and in the country. And of course, Monsignor William Irwin contributes heavily to our success. And Monsignor William Irwin, the breadth and depth of programming, the extensive opportunities, and perhaps equally importantly, the quality of relationships that ignites and fuels a passion, a zest for learning, lifelong learning, in fact, that serves students well as they can discover the, and develop their God-given talents. I hope you have an extraordinary experience tonight at this evening's open house, and I look forward to welcoming you to the Monsignor William Irwin family. All the best and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much, Lisa Truchansky, for those kind words <clears throat> and for joining us tonight. Uh, tonight, you will have an opportunity, opportunity to meet our, uh, some of our members of our extraordinary team here at MWI. First up, uh, Lindsay D'Agostini, our tech coach who is helping behind the scenes. Uh, Michelle Dumansky, our English kindergarten teacher. Uh, and Madame Elise, who is our current French immersion teacher and is covering um, our maternity leave. And Madame Lisa, who will be finishing off her mat leave and coming back right away. As you can see, not only will you receive information about our kindergarten programs this evening, but you will also learn more about our school culture and what makes us a vibrant learning community. Our school vision is where students are welcomed and nurtured in a safe and inclusive community where classroom instruction responds to the needs of all students. As you can see listed, we do have a diverse team working together with our families to help meet the needs of all our students. And you can find more information on our website and on our YouTube channel regarding our collaborative response model framework to support all learners. Our school vision is also where there is responsibility, honesty, cooperation, and mutual respect. And this is reflected in the values of our Golden Wolves ways. Our goal is to build a faith-led collaborative learning environment that inspires students to learn, pray, and grow together. This year, Monsignor William Irwin School is celebrating its 10-year anniversary, and we are so privileged to be part of a school community with such an inspiring namesake. We continue to lead as Father Bill Wood, whom he was affectionately known as Father Bill, uh, and we lead with hope, compassion, and a dedication to serving others and making our world a better place. Good evening, I am Michelle Dumansky and I teach the English Kindergarten Program. Thank you for joining us tonight. I've been teaching in early learning for over 10 years and this is my fourth year here at MWI. For me as an early learning educator, I value seeing children given the opportunity to explore and expand their understanding of our world through guided exploration. I enjoy providing provocations that give them a variety of learning opportunities and the tools they need to be successful in exploring their interests. My role in acting as a facilitator to their discovery gives me the opportunity to learn alongside them as well. At MWI, we give the students the chance to be leaders in their own learning journey. Their shared interests become rich learning opportunities and projects that we weave our learning outcomes into, allowing us to embrace curiosity and teach problem solving strategies in our daily activities. Our daily routine consists of scheduled whole group and small group activities, as well as center exploration time, 
each one focusing on building different skills while enhancing independent work habits needed for grade one and beyond. All center activities are planned with intention and focus on specific skill development. The inquiry we do lends well to being cross-curricular, keeping learning interesting and fun. Our faith-based faith atmosphere permeates all that we do. This helps us build our faith and our individual Catholic identity within the classroom and school as part of our daily practice within the school community. Our daily literacy and numeracy practice are embedded within our centers, but also worked on in small and whole group settings. Daily phonics and beginning reading lessons are just part of this process. We learn about different story genre and respond to text in creative ways to make our evidence of learning visual and fun. As part of our classroom explorations, we use STEAM as another approach of inquiry. This is an educational approach to learning that uses science, technology, engineering, arts, and math to guide our discovery while introducing and enhancing our problem solving and critical thinking skills. Hi, sorry about that. My name is Madame Lisa and I have been a kindergarten teacher here at MWI for the past six years. The French and English classes work together to enhance our programs with guest visitors and field trips along with other special activities throughout the year whenever possible. The English and French programs work closely together to collaborate and share with one another whenever possible to build community within the grade level and within the school environment. I believe the best way for kindergarten children to learn is through active inquiry and play. Our classrooms are set up in learning centers, which change often to promote the use of the French vocabulary. A typical day in our class will consist of French movement songs, vocabulary games, and large and small group instruction. Students will participate in daily literacy and numeracy activities, as well as art projects that fo focus on fine motor development. Our students are given the time every day to explore these centers. Our center time promotes social development, communication and accountability. We focus on developing French vocabulary and simple sentence structure through modeling, gestures, visual aids, repetition, songs and literature, all while building confidence and developing strategies for working in a second language. Here at MWI, we strive to provide your child with not only a wonderful Catholic education, but give them encouragement and support to be the best they can be. We have created a program to help our students explore the world around them in a safe and welcoming environment. Kindergarten provides an environment to increase the child's independence level and problem solving skills in a secure environment for risk taking and building a child's self confidence as a learner. As kindergarten teachers, our goal is to create the most positive and nourishing experience for your child every day. Our school hours. Kindergarten hours are morning from 8.40 to 11.42, and our afternoon program runs at 12.16 to 3.18 p.m. There is no kindergarten class on Thursdays for professional development. There will be an orientation in June when your child will be invited to visit the kindergarten classroom in person or via Zoom. More information is to come. Staggered entry. There are two days allocated for staggered entry. Your child will only attend one of these days. These days are not yet determined and will be given to you at the orientation. Some field trips will be half day or full day. Busing applications are available at the office. Please note, it takes roughly three weeks before any changes can take effect for busing, so be sure to register for transportation early. Please note that there is no busing for kindergarten students on staggered entry dates. All the information with specific dates and times, as well as school supply 
lists and registration packages will be shared with you in August. So we just like to spend a little bit of time uh, explaining more about our French immersion program. Um, and as you'll notice, the slide no it gives the differences between the three programs. So we would like you to focus your attention to the middle col column where we explain that uh, French immersion is intended for children whose first language is not French. And, and it's okay that parents don't speak French. Most of our students um, come to school without any French background. So French is used as the language of instruction for a significant part of the school day. And all subjects are taught in French, except English language arts, which begins partway through grade two and religion. The language of communication between the home and the school still remains in English. And to the right, you will see French second language courses, or we call them FSL. Those courses are for our students in the English program who are in grades four, five, and six. And so we offer at MWI French immersion and FSL. So as one of Canada's two official languages, French immersion is taught at several schools in Edmonton Catholic schools. Students do have a significant advantage when they speak more than one language. Learning another language helps students strengthen their problem solving, reasoning and creative thinking skills, develop an understanding and appreciation of diverse cultures, increase their competitiveness in an increasingly global job market, and they enhance their first language and overall literacy skills. In addition to providing a foundation for the learning of an additional language and the potential for more opportunities to participate in a globalized economy, learning French helps students to understand Canada's history and to develop an appreciation of the French culture. So who can enroll in our French immersion programs? All students, including students with special needs or English language learners. Our strong collaborative team ensures that our students can experience success regardless of the program they choose. So you may have noticed that we are experiencing a bit of technical problems with our Q&A portion. Um, if you are unable to enter your question on the side, we will we're working behind the scenes to try to um, fix this so that it's available by the end of the program. And if not, then we will uh, accept any questions that we weren't able to answer in our program through email um, and we'll provide uh, a contact email at the end of the program. Sorry and thanks for your patience on that one. Uh, if you want to hear more back to French immersion, want to hear more about this program, Canadian Parents for French is an organization that supports families who choose French immersion. You can go to their website, the cpf.ca, to see more information and then hear from stories of, of people who uh, have their kids in French immersion so you can get a perspective from them. And as some of you are thinking about the French immersion program, I'd like to share my experience having been through the program with Edmonton Catholic Schools. The first thing to know is that my parents did not speak French at all. They wanted my siblings and I to gain access to more opportunities and, decide to, and decided to put us in French immersion. I went to Father Leo Green for my kindergarten year and I can still recall many of the activities we did. There were days over the course of my elementary years when I had to complete homework at home and my parents still read to me, helped me with math and did projects with me for school, even though they didn't speak a word of French. In fact, my sisters and I would use our French at home to talk in front of my parents so they wouldn't understand what we were saying. I continued in junior high in the French immersion program and was happy to, as something that is unique to French immersion students is that they become close friends being in the same class over many years. Um, transitioning onto junior high with my friends in such a close community of students made it a lot easier to move into a new school and face the teenage years. 
When it came time to decide on a high school, I chose J.H. Picard so that I could graduate with a French diploma. Now, not only did I become close with the classmates I met in kindergarten and got to stay with them all along my school journey, I'm still friends with many of those people today. I chose to continue in French at the university, at the Faculté Saint-Jean, accessing grants to help pay for my program that are only available to people learning our, our official second language. Knowing French has helped me in many aspects of life, including job opportunities, traveling around the world, uh, even learning other languages as an adult. I am always grateful that my parents chose to register me in French Immersion Kindergarten, uh, and I recommend it, and it's a, high, it's a great choice for any family to consider. So another way to enhance uh, our programs at MWI and provide additional opportunities for students to experience success is with our extracurricular uh, and clubs. Over the last few years, we have focused on empowering our students and providing opportunities to share their gifts and talents. For example, our liturgical dance club, they've represented us at our division celebration of the arts, They've shared their talents with seniors at resident at seniors residences and they perform at our school celebrations. Last year was our second year offering a musical theater club. Due to COVID, our production for Alice in Wonderland was postponed. However, the year before we did Susical the Musical and it was a huge success. The club is not only for singers and dancers. We have students involved in marketing and promotion, as well as costume design. All students were also encouraged to participate in our logo contest with the winning logo printed on our musical club t-shirt. And you see the winning logo on your screen. We also promote student leadership in all our students, and we encourage them to be responsible for planning and organizing school spirit events. We also offered a Discover E coding club to our grade twos and three students, in addition to a grade four, five and six group. And this club is offered in collaboration with the University of Alberta and students uh, would meet at the end of the school day after school for two hours over the course of eight weeks. A new addition that we did last year was our first Lego League Club. Our team competed at Nate at the beginning of February along with 42 other teams from all over Northern Alberta. And trophies are awarded at the end of the competition showing excellence in various areas that they had to compete. And we are so proud to share that our grade six team won the Lego trophy for the best innovative solution. And uh, the team had all sorts of innovative uh, initiatives that they wanted to start at the school. But again, due to COVID, we've, we've been interrupted, but we're looking forward to starting those up again. And finally, we have One Voice and Golden Wolves Assemblies, and that brings our staff, students and families together. We encourage you to visit our YouTube channel for various videos showcasing our clubs and all the extracurricular activities that we do. Communication is very important at MWI. We really feel that it, it's important to keep our families informed. And so you can visit our school website and look forward to parent weekly updates. And uh, that is our Monsignor Messenger blog. And you can already begin to subscribe to the blog. Um, if you go to our website, uh, if you click on, on a blog uh, posting, you can subscribe now and you can start getting a feel for our school and uh, the community. We also have Instagram, Twitter, and we mentioned YouTube. That helps us make you feel more connected to our community as well. So how do you register? We know that some of you here may have already registered. Those who uh, are unsure, uh, the website at the bottom of the screen is the uh, where you would uh, go to and you will come to a page just like you see. And on the top right corner, a gold 
rectangle that says res register now and you just follow the steps in in filling in the form. Uh, one thing we notice is uh, some people forget to put the grade level and that that does um, uh, it's an important step. So please remember to do that. You're also more than welcome to call us if you have any questions. And if you have already registered, you have already probably had a conversation with Mrs. Cooper. And so um, again, if you do have any um, glitches or questions, please reach out. So in terms of transportation, once you register, you will uh, be emailed a kindergarten bus form for those people who do need busing. And that will be emailed to you once you have registered and the form will come in March. So we have regular yellow bus service for our morning kindergarten students and end of the day uh, times. And in the afternoon, because it's a half day program, we have our kindergarten noon hour uh, curb service. And so the address you provide for that noon hour when they're finishing their program or when they're getting picked up to go to the afternoon program, the address must be located in the catchment for our school and only one address can be provided. And we try to, the buses try to get as close to your residence as possible, um, depending on um, the roadways and, and access. We truly value our home school parish relationship and here you can see various examples of how we um, collaborate with our school council. They play a critical role in creating our vibrant and welcoming community from delivering coffee and treats to staff, providing funds for supplies and resources, raising more funds to install basketball nets and so much more. I do encourage you to visit uh, our YouTube uh, channel. There is a video there from our school council explaining about all the great events they organize and ways that they support our staff and our students. And Father Mitch from St. Thomas More Parish has prepared a message for you to hear about the importance of our relationship with the parish. Just a few words about Catholic education, Catholic schools. One of the greatest legacies a parent can give to a child is a faith-based education. In this province, parents are able to send their children to Catholic schools with no extra tuition costs. Our parish has 11 Catholic schools from which to choose. A Catholic education is more than teaching a few minutes of religion each day. It is a prayerful atmosphere where children and youth learn about the teaching of Jesus Christ. They are prepared for the sacraments, learn to pray and to respect life and each other. Through our excellent faith-based teachers, the foundation is laid for a lifelong dedication to gospel values. <clears throat> On February 17th, we began the liturgical season of Lent. Our schools encourage the threefold practice of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. All right, um, that is uh, Father Mitch from our local parish who often records videos for all of our liturgical celebrations throughout the year as we um, can't invite him to the school this year, but in other years he comes to the school and helps out with the celebrations that we perform for all of our uh, Catholic celebrations in the school. And so um, we also have a video that uh, talks about your child's journey with Edmonton Catholic Schools. Registering at MWI is just the beginning to uh, a journey of being with Edmonton Catholic Schools.
Edmonton Catholic Schools, bringing Catholic education to life. In addition to our excellent community schools, we are proud to offer programming in pre-kindergarten, advanced placement, French immersion, Spanish bilingual, IB, and more. We welcome all students. Check out one of our virtual open house events. Register online today. So this quote by Pope Francis resonates with our school community. MWI is awesome because of what our students and their families bring to the school, your gifts and talents and positive energy. Thank you for considering to be part of the MWI family. And I believe the email will be shared. Um, and I think Mrs. Nicholson is going to give instructions. I'm Yeah, so uh, we apologize. We are unable to get our Q&A functioning tonight um, so that we, we do encourage you to send in your questions that you might have had that we weren't able to answer this evening to um, our, our school email. Um, and I'm just going to pop it up on the screen for you as I think that might be the easiest way for you to record that email address down instead of um, having to memorize it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, that's our website. Yeah, and so oh, there we go. Sorry, it is right there on the on the screen for you. So the email address, you can direct your questions right there, and we will get back to you um, as soon as possible, um, and hopefully respond those to those questions. Again, we apologize for that. The Q and A is not working. Um, technology sometimes is really really fabulous, and sometimes. It's not. <laughs> and so we appreciate uh, your patience with that. I will invite our kindergarten teachers to come back on, though, and say uh, a final goodbye. If, I'll just ask them to unmute themselves when they pop on so you can hear them. <laughs> yes, again, technology, right? Uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening. We look forward to meeting you all in person very soon. Have a great evening. Yes, thank you for taking the time out of your evening to join us for our open house. We are so excited to meet your child. If you have any questions, please check out our website. Have a great evening.